Hi, my name is Annie McCarthy, and I'm a member of Our Lady of the Rosary Cathedral in San Bernardino. Today is Saturday, October 27th, 2018. Thank you for joining us on I Got Today. We begin today with Ephesians 4, 7 through 16, where God is filling humanity from heaven to earth with his gifts and graces. And St. Paul continues, and grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. He gave some as apostles, others as prophets, others as evangelists, others as pastors and teachers to equip the holy ones for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ until we all attain to the unity of faith and knowledge of the Son of God. Ephesians goes on to say that it is through Christ's gifts and grace that we may attain maturity and to be brought out of infancy, to be more fully Christ-like in stature. What exactly brings us to spiritual Christian maturity? What does it mean to be endowed with God's grace and gifts and blessings? I believe the gospel that follows today helps to explain. One hallmark of scripture, of Christ's teachings, is that we be, we be able to figure this out for ourselves at times. Did not Christ ask his apostles in recent readings who they said that he was? Yes, sometimes God does give us the answers. Other times we are called upon to understand things through life and experience with the help of God's guiding hand. In today's gospel reading, a landowner wishes to end the life of a poor fig tree because it's not producing fruit. The gardener asks one additional year, and during that year, he will cultivate and fertilize the area around the tree. Now, in this particular reading of the gospel, it does not say whether it bears fruit or not, but two things are clear. A person will be tending to that tree, and if it does not bear fruit in the future, it will be cut down. I asked earlier what it means to be endowed with God's grace and gifts and blessings. God intervenes as he wishes. So many times it's his people, the prophets, evangelists, pastors, teachers, and of course, maybe just the average Christian willing to work the fields, you know, just like you and me, through which God helps us mature to bear fruit. The admonition at the end of the gospel, if not, you can cut it down. It's a stark reminder of the absence of God in our daily lives, not so much a punishment. If that fig tree could talk, what would it say? What would you say? I relate with that little fig tree and firmly believe that because of God in my life, through the help of his people, he has brought me to bear fruit for the kingdom and for our beautiful Catholic faith, all of which I am eternally grateful. And I wish this for you too. Let us pray. Oh, holy and most gracious God, you shower upon us all that we need to tend to your fields and prepare for the good harvest. Help us to be the cultivators in the world, to help those who desperately want to bear good fruit and maybe just don't know how. Thank you for those you have set before us as examples of good faith. And we pray for the spread of your kingdom for all eternity. In the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, we pray. Amen. Thank you.